Hi everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. How are you? How is everyone doing? And let me tell you, it's supposed to be raining all day here today. And I said, you know what? This soup is sound so amazing for this rainy day. And I know a lot of my friends are also going out, going um, in cold weather, are in cold weather, and they need this. And let me tell you, oh, the sunshine just came out, so it's nice and sunshine outside actually so bright that i'll have to put on my reading glasses because my reading glasses will change to uh, hmm? tinted. yeah they're tinted so they will protect my eyes but let me tell you i want to bring all my friends who are in the cold right now bring some sunshine to you okay so as you're getting on thank as you're getting on thank you for being here but check this out some nice sunshine around here and now uh, we put on the fire side uh, we put on our Warm bond grill. Hey, Tommy. And Tommy's working, so he's going to film me here and there. I'm hey, going to film myself. So we have some fire going on here. I sent some warmness for all our friends up north. And we're cooking some soup. We already planned to cook this soup. Guys, we planned to cook the soup already. So I figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and cook the soup because I cut up everything. Even though it's a little warmer here. But uh, Tommy family, they will love this soup. They'll love this anyway. I always cook this for them. And I figure, you know what? Why not do, go ahead and do it? I was going to maybe switch to cook up rice. But I add cassava and the um, rainforest banana, like the moko banana already um, peeled and plantains. And then I had everything already prepared for the, for the soup. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to taste good later, okay? So these are all my ingredients and seasoning and my peppers and everything that I'm using. I have some okra here, guys. See, I have some okra. I have some um, coconut milk and um, some baji leaf and all in there. And uh, this is my cassava and plantain and um, also uh, rainforest, tropical rainforest bananas. It's like the figs, guys. It's like the figs. So I pretty much have everything I need out here. I also have some Guyana cas rip. And this is the Pameroon cash rib that I have here uh, to put a little color in the chicken. And this was homemade, like real authentic uh, from the Pameroon that I bought uh, from one of my friends in the market, okay? And then what we have is some seasoned chicken as well. Um, I shared a video this morning of me seasoning this chicken. And we're going to cook later because in the dinner time we are going to a friend's, to a family friend some friends this evening so 16 year old birthday so as soon as we finish this we start to get ready to go and um have some fun this, have some fun as well this later and also meet up with some of our friends we haven't seen from orlando in a while so i'm excited i'm excited to see them and jimmy angie and um those friends from orlando i can't wait i can't wait happy sweet 16 to jaya oh yeah happy sweet 16 birthday to jaya today and also happy birthday to Hayden from Twin America uh, and, um, and also happy birthday to Mike from Canada shouting out happy birthdays to you all happy birthday if you're having a birthday in the next couple of days shout out and say it's your birthday why not every day for me is my birthday every day I wake up it's my birthday okay I'm alive I'm well and uh, we go through different emotions we all do and it's how we live that day and how we go back to sleep that night okay all right so so guys i have my big pot on here and my fire going on check out a nice fire here we go and uh so what we're we gonna do right now let me show you the chicken so guys check out this chicken and it's all seasoned this morning and been marinating in its own juices and all these garden freshness and salt and pepper, garlic, onions, all that good stuff in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cast it in here. This is how you do this. And this is one way I cook soup. This, I cook soup in so many different ways. So share some of your ideas and some of your, um, how you like to do your soup. And what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to put some of this delicious cash rip. Cash rip is pretty much, it's a, 
it is a bit of cassava that I take the juice of and I just cook it down all the way until it turns to this color. And it's a little toxic for the human being unless it's cooked down like this. So it's a delicious, it's a national, it's a national food dish that may, that will make pepper pot and pepper pot is a national dish of the country where I'm from, Guyana. So I, I use... Cassava is a natural preservative for... Yes, and it is a natural preserve, the sauce of it, which is this. And it gives color to anything you want. So it's not just a, the pepper pot meal. You can use it in your chow mein, you can use it in rice, you can use it in your chicken. I use it in everything. I love the sauce and I really use it in everything. It, it just gives it a nice flavor. And that's okay. Here we go. I'm not going to. So guys, so you see, I put it in there, I'm going to just throw this in. You can also put brown in seasoning in here to give it that color. Or also you can um, burn some sugar, but not burn it. Just before it burns, the caramelized uh, taste or the caramelized color, you can do a couple tablespoons of sugar and you have the same effect. But so I just love the, the taste. I just love the taste of um, the casserole. Right. Well, check that out, guys. I want so much. I'm going to let it cook up here before I put everything else. And I cut all these chicken big and big pieces and nice. I'm cooking these me some of this also for Tommy's sister, two of his sisters, one from Georgia and one from local here in Florida and Fort Lauderdale area are visiting his mom and they live like four miles away. So I'm cooking extra so that I can drop off and they can have some of this as well. All right, guys, see how nice this is looking? Mmm, gosh, it smells so good. All the seasoning and everything, I put seasoning or everything on this chicken. So when it cooks in about a in about few more minutes, I will start to add all these vegetables and all the ground vegetables. And cassava, also known as yucca for my international friends. We have, have some green plantains and also uh, some like uh, fig some green figs like the green bananas but there are different types that they call tropical rainforest bananas and what I have here also I love uh, pumpkin in soup sometimes so this soup particular soup I'm making with pumpkin okay so I have some pumpkin I also have um, okra some nice okra let me show you from a garden here uh, check this out check this out I put a little music in the background. I feel like, you know what? I feel like I have family coming over. And in, in a way, it's true. It's like I'm cooking for friends. And then I will be seeing some, some family friends again this afternoon. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, so you see, look, I'm having some more okra here. But this one is very young. So I'm leaving it to get older. And uh, let's check out the orchid. And then what I have here... Check these out. John says these are ready to be picked. Johnny? Yeah. Hey, you want to come tell him about the black pepper? I don't know much about it. Okay, so these are some black peppers and John says they're ready to be picked because this is the stage when you have to do, pick the black pepper, the ground black pepper, and then you let them dry out and if that's when it becomes a darker color, then you toast it if you want and then you ground it up. So I need to pick these guys. And um, oh, I'm so proud of this plant. It's been doing well. I love it. The vines are supposed to be growing all the way across. Oh yes, uh, you see those uh, berry? Uh, guys, this is the... Let me see. That's what I love about it. We did lobster shish kebab yeah. for birthday and everything on it. Tell you, put it right in the screen room. Yeah, and I had it in the screen room as well. No so smoke. you can actually have it on your patio. You see there's no smoke around. 
um, only where the food is coming out. Okay. You have your food? Okay. You can. All right, so this is still cooking up. Buddy Boy from Blackbush said he wanted to make sure you knew he's online. Oh, hi, Buddy Boy. Good from Blackbush. Good evening from Blackbush, Guyana. Big love, big love. But see how nice this is? You can just cook this and have this as a meal the way I cook this here. Um, and, ha and eat it on rice or with roti or with bread or just as a, di uh, as a, ma as a main dish as well. Just like this, this can be eaten like this and this can be a dish by itself. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all the soupy things and so on to make it into a soup. But you see how nice this is looking on? I love it. It smells so good. It's making me hungry. Um, and let me go turn on. Yeah, let me go turn on this. Water? Yeah, I need to turn it on maybe too. I'm gonna just cook down a little bit more yeah. and before I put everything else. Can I show them the, in the side again? Okay. The yard's so pretty and bright right now. Oh yeah, guys. We have another we have, rainstorm coming tomorrow. <laughs> we haven't seen this yard like this in a while. Okay, actually since I came back from Guyana, I haven't spent much time in this yard because it's been raining or it's been cold. And um, so I feel like I de neglect my plants, I neglect my babies however this is how bad i feel uh, so this is my first corilla and i forgot about it i remember i saw it when it when it grew <laughs> and look how big this wait, is they right? can't justify it wait hold on. look let me zoom in it's you see how big it is and i forgot about it when to pick it look mm. so you can you can still eat eat the ripe um, um, Corylia or Corylia. Well, tell the them if it's as big as your head is really big. Yes. Look. Look. Earrings. Uh, you see that? Corylia earrings. And uh, look. Wow, look how pretty. It's almost like artwork. Yes, it's not so pretty. So I feel bad. I didn't have a chance to pick this just before it got ripened. However, I'm going to cut it open today. I'm going to cut it open. Let me get a little more light. I'm going to cut it open. I'm going to take out the seeds and I'll have the seeds to plant more. And I will still eat it. Because you can eat it ripe in like this it as well. It actually looks like plastic. Yeah, it's so beautiful, isn't it? And while that's cooking... Wait, do it again so they can take a screenshot for you. And check out the celery. And the... Um, Well, let me show you um, my side chan. Guys, how nice it's looking. And since it's been cold, they're barely growing. So these guys have been here even before I went to Guyana, okay? And I, came, and I came back and I had a chance to see them again. And they're still growing and they're still so young. And uh, so as soon as this guy, as soon as I can pick it, I'm going to chop it off and use all the leaves and everything. And um, so it can go, come back stronger. They're, they're kind of, they're not doing so well right now because of the rain and cold and hot, you know. So um, they're hanging in there. Such a beautiful day, guys. Where is your uh, phone? Uh, Deborah, hi. Hi from Baltimore. Welcome, my friends. And the chicken is just cooking there and I can't um, help but show you around the yard because of the sunshine. And check out all the golden apples, how they're doing here in the garden. They're, they're hanging in there. I have quite a few. These guys are never out of season. They're always on the tree. This is the golden apple. And in, um, I think they're also called the June plums. And in in Trinidad, it's the Palm City, I think, right? And Tommy and John brought back some coconuts from the garden in Jupiter. So I've been having some coconuts, which I'm so happy for. Or Aiden, rather, Aiden. Uh, Zandrine said her birthday, her 65th birthday is tomorrow. Zandrine. 
Hi, Sandrine. Happy birthday. Mohammed. Oh, nice. Look, look. The chicken. I'm glad we came up. Look. Look how nice that chicken cook and so on. So nice. It's a quick this over cook or this fireside or chula or grill or smokeless grill. Whatever you want to call it. Man, it's like an oven. Happy birth, 70th birthday to Vic, and they're making some barbecue wings for his birthday. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, guys, so check out the chicken there. Can they see? Yeah. I know I'm going to put in all my provision, and this is the cassava and plantain. Huh? I know what I'm going to do there. I'm not putting much more pepper. I'm going to put some more garlic in here. All right, some scallions and shallots. Hey, I wanna make it rich and nice, okay? Don't be afraid to put some seasoning in there. I know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just turn this up. So you're wondering where you find a big pot like this. Oh geez, I bought this in Orlando, in Kissimmee actually. Unfortunately, and this is from Jimmy and Angie's mom's store, and they're not there anymore. Uh, they sold the business. I don't know who took over, but I'll ask him tonight. I will. I will. I'm seeing them tonight, guys. So I'll be asking them tonight um, about this kahari because I need this in the next size dog, and I also need uh, a little bigger set, a little bigger, bigger one. Uh, I think we, they call it the wedding house pot. At least that's what I call it. Okay, so I'm putting some coconut milk in here now. And then I'll add um, some water that's in the house. Okay. All right, guys, so we're, I'm going to run in the house in a minute. So, hey, I'm but Daisy sells the pots too. They're selling. Oh yeah, the the the, 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 Basies the Basies, have them. Yeah, that's what someone Lauderdale, says. They have it. We okay. love them there. Yeah. Yeah, right, and then in Orlando, I, I will imagine uh, car, the Caribbean, Caribbean Super, Center. Super Center have it as well. So I'm gonna run inside and get some hot water for you, okay? Yeah, if you can plug that in there. Tommy's gonna run inside. And where's your phone, Tommy, so I can say hello? Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh, it's hot. I gotta get in the shade. I have to get in the shade. But check it out, you see? Nice Kerala, right? Mm -mm. Hi Kamla Pasad, how are you? Where did you get the stove? Actually, I'll put up the information and you can get 15% off right now if you order through my name. And you can get 15% off. It's a, it's, a, it's a warm bond stove. It's a warm bond smokeless grill. And you can do so much with it. You can cook with it in your in, in your patio and so on, okay? And I love it. I love it. It's nice height as well. It comes with wheels as well. As well. So I'll put information and check them out. Check them out, man. Check them out. They send me this grill for free, uh, you know, to tell people about it and so on. Listen, and every time I use this grill, it's amazing. I'm not disappointed at all. It holds that heat. Let me tell you, it holds that heat. A lot of times I got to run quickly, make sure I'm not burning anything. Um, we have Sita in the house. Hi, Sita. Was that boiling, Tommy? Yeah, buddy. Very hot. Hmm? Very hot. Okay. And uh, we have Gino. Hi, Gino. Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Um, Yulita Cummings. Hi. Unet. Unet. Is that what you say? Unet? I'm going to switch for you. Yeah. You can, you can follow for me. Huh? Can you hold it? Yeah. There we go. 
All right, so let me see. We have Ali. Hi, Ali. Sabrina reminds me so much of hometown Mumbai. You bring back good memories. Oh, I love it. I love Mumbai. I love Mumbai. Oh, hello to Mumbai. Hello to India. And, and we also have Amira. Hi, Mira John. How are you? Um, Sunita Narayan. Hi, Sunita Narayan. Caroline, welcome, welcome, my friends. Frazier, or F A Z I R. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, we have Indira. Hi, lovely. Nice to meet you, Nandalal. Welcome, my friends. Uh, Rita, welcome, welcome. Molly's in the house. <laughs> I guess a nice tune in the background, they're enjoying it, you know, enjoying this nice atmosphere. So this is supposed to be Sandy's Garden of Bora and Saijan and Kryli all hanging underneath this metal thing and so far we just have a little bit of so we're not sure if we're going to keep it up. So I'm putting enough water now. So it become a soup and I'll put it come to a boil. Donna wants to know if we prepared some dumpling. Yes, yes, guys. Look, it's mm. like um, duff dumpling I make, and I make it with a with seasoning in it. So this is what I have here—a duff dumpling, and uh, so it's not the soft type. It's like more of the harder type. Johnny likes to cut it like steak. Yeah, yeah, I like it that way sometimes. Not all the times. I make my soup different, different ways all the time. I need more fire. I well, we can switch that out quick. Mm? I can switch it out quick. Okay. They say they have lots of snow in Antwa, Ontario. Oh wow! I'm a, Tommy's gonna put in a piece of wood there. He's gonna switch out and put in a piece of wood. I didn't realize how much, um, it's not very much wood to put in the beginning, we should have put a little bit more. And uh, look, the thing there, Tommy, the um, oven mitts, right no, there. I'm to, so the and just put it. It's nice heat coming out there, but I want a little fire. But let me show you how nice this heat is. Oh, you're looking for the thing to open up? Yeah, send it tomorrow. Look, just take that clipping thing, the thong. It will look nice fire for grilling, guys. Nice fire for grilling. I want a little more smoke. We'll just put a piece of wood in there. Tommy's just switching for me. Hey, Tommy. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday, as you said. Happy Saturday. Um, smaller pieces, Tommy. I know, I know all our wood is a little wet. Yeah, both of them. Put both of them. Let us know what's cooking, what's cooking. Oh my gosh, this soup smells so good. I haven't eaten anything yet. And I said, gosh, I don't want to really soup now because it's a little warm, but let me tell you the smell of this. I can't wait to sit on and really enjoy it underneath over there. All right, Tommy. Yeah, put... Show the warm bond grill. No ah. smoke. And um, Tommy's going to put on back this, the pot. Okay. All right. They're gonna catch up in a minute. The fire gonna catch up in a minute. All right. So this is gonna start um cook up here, and as soon as it starts to cook up, you see how the fire look up quickly. Nice heat is in there. It's just everything gotta come to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, then I'm gonna put in the cassava and a the cassava. Then I'm gonna put in look. Look what I have here. Okay. Ooh, wow. I'm enjoying this sun heat today, buddy. All right, let me chop up some of... And this is some pumpkin. I like the pumpkin in there big like this, you know. 
so it's big like the vegetables cutting up some of this pumpkin nice red pumpkin i cooked the rest of this it was a half a pumpkin i cooked the rest pumpkin and that's what we had for breakfast or lunch i, I don't know we ate not so long ago I see I have my okra too, I'll put in that and the okra together. And this is some baji leaf, check out this baji leaf here. And what I did, I went around and I also picked some from here, like... And I picked, picked some of those. These are seeds, right, sir? These are, yeah, those are the seeds that's ready, ready to be picked and dry. Like She's out liming music. today. I know, I know. I'm trying to eat my flower. Yeah, Sandy says every day is a good day. Yeah, every day is a good day, man. Every day is a good Sati day. Sati says, I want to come visit you. I live here in Ocala. Actually, we want to come visit you. We're actually heading to Ocala soon. Oh, yeah, man. You're always welcome. Please, please. So you see guys, bring this in in a little bit. I will start to load them off and uh, to make my dumpling. Or uh, This is not like dumpling like Trinidad, definitely not like Jamaica. It's the way like I grew up, we call it dumpling, but it's more like a duff, okay? It's more like a duff, like a steamed duff. Fire is looking good. So let me show you the logo. Sandy will post this later. It's um, the Warm Bond. And they're one of our sponsors and good friends. Uh, we've come to love these people. They have many products, but this one, we just... Uh, and this is a nice size one, too, for small family and for the patio, especially in the cold season. This thing gives out a lot of heat. Tommy, uh, like, leg barely touch it, and it was so hot. You have to be careful. Uh, it really gives out a nice heat and you see look how nice that is look the fire started to come up again I put two pieces of one in there. It's I swear it's like a double oven heat mm -hmm. And with no smoke it's, I can't get close to it to change the wood right Sam? Yeah, it's, yeah. And it's controlled because there's a double panel inside right so there's right. air in the bottom and the, the heat pulls through the bottom and then up the sides and then out and filters again down and out so there's no smoke it's absolutely amazing. We love these guys. The Warm Bond Smokeless Grill. Um, it, there's no upsell in this. It just, just shows for herself. And she says for a small family, but we cook for... <laughs> you can cook for like 20 people on this in a minute. Yes, yes. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Uh, Corrine. Uh, welcome, welcome, Julie. Julie says I she loves your outdoor. outdoor dwelling area. Lovely. Thank you, thank you. Let's see... Thank you, Sati. All right, it's time to come to a boil already, guys. Indra, Indra just says fire. Fire. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see. I'm holding it. Seven. There you go. Look at you. You know who does that well is Keith. Ooh. Keith. Sabrina Keith. Oh, my God. He could jump on one foot and dance so well. <laughs> I was looking up. I was like amazed. Oh. Savitri says she's just watching. <laughs> what a craziness here. Thank you, guys, for sharing. Thank you for leaving comments. Thank you for making us where we are today. Let's share this love and happiness. We need it all around, okay? So many people are living double lives. So many people go through different, like I said, I keep saying this, emotions because I do. I do, okay? I get stressed out. We yell at each other. We go through headaches. But we like each other today. <laughs> mm -hmm. We go through so much. We go through so much with our families, with the people that are closest to us. And yes, it hurts. Yes, it's pain. Yes, it's suffering. And uh, so all we need to do is just think what we can do best for next time, for tomorrow, you know? That's all we can do. That's all I am doing. That's all I'm trying to do. 
and I didn't have bell and roses growing up, okay, or um, my life. Many, many pains and suffering. And uh, these are things that humbles me, and I love it. Thank you, Caroline, for saying, you know what, she loves watching you cooking over the fireside sand. It reminds her of being home in Fiji. Oh, nice. I love it. You know, Thank you, guys, Sandy's, from Sandy's, this, is, this is Sandy's tree house in the Keys, and pretty much you could put this property anywhere if you took a picture of it because it's literally would fit anywhere with this photograph. Uh -huh. Check this out, guys. So everything is coming to a boil now. Mm, look at that. You see? I put enough meat and so on in there, chicken. So I cut everything um, the perfect size, hopefully. So hopefully everything um, like boil around the same time and not overcooked. Mm -hmm. Shereen says, Sandy, I'm in Quebec and there's lots of snow here. Loving your cooking. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gosh, the fire is nice now. The fire is awesome. I wonder if... Pardon me? Well, Mike's, Mike's birthday. You, you think they might have a birthday party for him today? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know, Mike. Just... <laughs> we have Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Uh, thank you for shouting out for me. Thank you. Anytime, anytime. Lisa, how are you? Nalo. Uh, we have Sheila in the house. Lovely. Place. Sandy, Lovely real quick. Place. Gina says, you did exactly what you want to do. Says, I need some of that soup right now for the cold and windy weather in Philadelphia. Yes. Listen, That's why I she cooked it. She cooked stuff. the soup for everybody up north. Yes. Guys, try to use a lot of soup. And so right now, and put a lot of things like ginger, turmeric. Um, these are fighting spices or herbs like put a lot of herbs and so in there it helps you so you don't get a cold you don't get a virus these are things that i believe in okay i don't get sick at all really i don't really get sick because i use my bush teas i use things like this a lot of green a lot of stuff i'm not perfect i, ha I have issues and things like that but i'm trying to be best every day by using these little things sandy someone made fish soup tea Oh my goodness. Oh yes, that's good. I never heard of oh, that. Oh yes, in Jamaica. What? Fish soup tea is very Seriously. amazing in Jamaica. We need to find some, could they maybe get a recipe for that? Yes, Ask. definitely, definitely. Please, please. Um, fish. But fish tea soup I had it there in Jamaica, oh my gosh, it's so strengthening. Uh, you'll never, I'm telling you, you feel like a bull when you finish with these eh? Things like this, it's amazing for your body. A little soup. Um, the broth of the soup. You don't have to eat the vegetables and say we don't want to, but boil it and then you drink the broth. And that's what pretty much the fish tea is. It's so good, you know, and a boil the fish and drink the tea the of it. It's so good. I uh, know. Get yourself some shade, buddy. I know. Sandy's I know. cooking in the sun here. Uh, Merzina says, I, I cook catfish curry and rice with plenty of pepper, oh. little mango, and some okra. Oh, I would like that. That's what I want right now. I wonder where she's from. Uh, I will want the Guyana. Oh, yes. You just know that. Yes, <laughs> yes. But originally, you see how nice this is looking, guys? Alright, let me see how this cassava are doing. Before I put all my color vegetables and my greens. Julie says, I had two children visit me today, so I cooked up some chicken chow mein and lots of vegetables for lunch. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds tasty. I want to eat everybody's food. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start to make my little... Uh, oh, Nancy's the fish tea lady. Um, um, uh, guys, so I'm going to start making uh, my little... My little duff or dumplings, whatever you want to call it. I'm making them a little big as well. Uh, Hav Haviza says I'm watching from Edmonton Canada and I want some right now it's 50 it is oh brutal oh my goodness please come and get some please Molly's making some chicken and rice with some curry today 
Oh, that sounds good. I, f I like my curry every day, man. I like to eat curries every day. Let me know in the comments if you like to eat curries every day. When you're in India, you eat pretty much can eat curry, curries or something with masala or curry um, for three meals a day. And it's so good because it's the same curry, but it's so different and delicious. Oh, I miss it. Guys, I see all my green seasoning and so on in there. Looking good. Uh, Fazila says, Cindy, I love your soup. I cooked Alfredo jerk chicken and pasta and boiled snapper, fish with vegetables, and we're in, here in Canada. Oh, man. I hope you guys join Sandy Backyard Group and I'm putting pictures over there. Oh, not this yet. All right, let's see how things are going. All right, guys, so let me show you what's going on here. Tommy's got a little call, and uh, so everything is boiling up here nicely. And the cassava is pretty much half cooked already. See? So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna, in a little bit, I'm going to put I'm gonna put in the, the okra. I'm also going to put in um, the pumpkin. Because the planting and so on is pretty much cooked. I don't want everything to mash up. Okay? I want it to stay whole and nice. And everything is looking fantastic. And the smell, the aroma around here, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's put in the the pumpkin and the okra in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit more uh, green seasoning, and this in my green seasoning is shadow benny, um, thyme. Where is the thyme? I give it a little rinse. Where did I put uh, the thyme? Just, just, uh... Okay, I have some thyme as well to put in there. I put in some scallions, and I just a little bit more onions. Hey guys, so I have a nice fresh pepper here from Mommy BB's farm. And this is a nice hot pepper. And since I didn't put that much pepper in it, since I'm sharing the food with Tommy's family, I'm putting this on the side to steam for me. Wow, look at those dumplings or duck. Oh, look how good that's looking, man. Wow, you see those duck there, man? How big and nice they are. And then you can cut them in pieces and have them in there as well. Mm. Wow. So everything is pretty much cooked. I need to take this down right away. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, put, check out the baji leaves. Oops. Put some baji leaf in there. And just some final touches, some green seasoning, some scallions. And let me just turn this in. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my pepper on top. See all the pumpkin already start to coming apart. This part needs to come down from the stove already. The heat of it alone is making everything so cook so quickly. Tell them how long you'll cook after this. Oh man, forever guys, forever the stove is, uh, this grill is keep cooking. So now I'm going to put in my nice pepper in there to steam. We see how everything is finished? Everything is finished and my nice green seed. Um, greens and baji leaves are in there. And then my pepper for bad eye. Ah, this is finished guys. 
Uh, it's so nice all the chicken stayed dark and nice. Oh, that's because of how I cook it from the beginning. And all my pumpkin, look at all the pumpkin is still in there. And the plantains. And the plantains guys and the cassava is completely cooked, look. Ooh, and look at that big dove. Look at that big dove. All right, guys. So my okra and so it's all cooked. Ah man, time to eat. Food is finished. Wow, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Oh man, guys, this is one way I cook my soup. I'll put the recipe up there in a few minutes. And I also put the information for the grill. And um, I cook soup in many, many different ways. Many, many different ways. This is one of my favorite. So thank you all. Thank you all for being part of us. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. See you later, guys. See you later. Oh, check, check that food out, man. Fantastic. The smell. Oh, can't wait to eat. Okay, crazy me.